Hi, welcome to a review on my sister's Gaming Chili Hedgehog Sonic Rubber Figures. You see, she has two Amy's. One of them she got separately at the flea market, another one she got in the whole entire box. You can buy them individually if you want to. The Sonic I don't like. I mean, he's. I mean, I love Sonic. I love Sonic a lot, but I meant the paint. It peels off, and it was peeling off when she got out of the, when he got out of the box. Okay, as you can see, his stomach paint likes to peel off along with his gloves, so you can tell that his gloves were originally blue. In fact, his whole body was originally blue. That's why the blue part isn't peeling off, and it's not so sca uh, flaky. His clothes are just, you know, glued on there. And so you gotta be careful, because his clothes will come off easily. And this one, Sonic stands approximately just a second. We're doing the whole review set, so just stay tuned. He stands approximately three inches tall, and he is eight centimeters. Next we will review Miles Tails per hour, or better known as Tails. Tails, he's... I like Sock more than Tails, but he's much better made. Yes, his tails are just glued on, and if they came off, you'd probably just glue them back on. His shoe paint doesn't peel off as easily as Sonic, and he's mostly yellow, and he's originally yellow, which makes him easier. As you can tell, that the white part on his body is starting to peel off, including part on his nose. Well, you can't see. From here, he looks perfect, but trust me, he's not. And, um, he stands approximately, well, eight centimeters tall. I think they're all three inches. Oh, Tails is a tad over three inches because of his ears. Oh, I also forgot to mention, they've got metal inside them, which gives them the ability to pose, and I don't recommend them for play, or harsh play at least. They're probably good for videos, but if you pose them too many times, they will fall apart. Uh, next, I'll review Knuckles. Now, Knuckles, common injury. His head comes off. You're probably LOLing right now, or surprised. You can see there's holes that attach his head up to his neck. You can probably just glue that back on. This is a very common injury, and this happened as soon as he got out of the box. So then, she, my sister was charged, I think, $12 for the whole box set, which is pretty good now, but still. Knuckles, the only thing that really peels off is probably his eyes and his gloves. Now, his gloves, you can't tell, but the white is actually very, oh, yeah, I guess you can tell if you look closely, is very close to being red. So he's very, very red. But then again, he is always a hothead, so what's the difference? A little jerk there. And I just I have to put his head back on unless you prefer it off. And I prefer it on. Um, I have to set the camera down to fix that. And his shoes are detailed. He stands approximately with his head on. Uh, just a second. Okay. With his head on, he stands a little. Um, a tad more than three inches tall, and he is, uh, like, 8.1 centimeters. Next we'll review Amy. Now, my sister has two because she got one separately, like I said. Now, this, there's a difference. This Amy has a pink mouth, and this one has no mouth. I wonder why. Hey, GCH, which one did you get separately? I don't understand why one of them has a pink mouth and uh, another one doesn't. Which one did you... You got that one separately? Mm -hmm. Okay. This one actually is much brighter color than this one, and my sister likes this one better. Actually, she's more detailed. And she's nicer. This one looks a little pale compared to the other one. So that's kind of weird. I, you'd almost think that this one's fake, but it's not. My guess is is that they sold them individually before, and this is an individual one that they come in the set. So it's probably better to buy them individually. The ones in the set are more cheaply made. They're almost exactly identical. But this is a good proof why you probably want to buy them individually. If you want detail, of course. And there's not much difference on this Amy. They move their arms and legs, and all of them move their arms and legs, nothing else. They're rubber bendy figures. Now let me see how tall the Amy stands. The Amy is a tad under, it's seven and a half centimeters tall, and it's two point, well, like a tad, about a quarter under three inches. Next, we will review Super Sonic, but really, it looks like a bronze Sonic, it's not very gold. It's supposed to be Super Sonic, I think it is, but it's not. This was really... This one they spend a lot of time on, or it's nicer than the other ones. So if you're not careful, 
the gold paint will peel off and it will reveal black. So really it's black underneath. And it is, the paint is really hard to peel off on this one. It is an identical thing to Sonic. My guess is they were all originally black. Well, actually, this one was originally blue, this one was originally black. But they mold them the same way. They're identical apart from their color. It's really bronze, really. It looks bronze. That's supposed to be supersonic. So, really, supersonic actually looks um, yellow on the cartoon. But, um, that's okay. They say it's supposed to be gold. But yellow or gold, whatever works best for you. And that Sonic stands, I think the same height as the other Sonic, that Sonic stands, yep, three inches tall and eight centimeters. Well, actually, now I'll take it back. Oh, here's something interesting. If you look really, really closely, which you can't really see on the camera because it's based on the floor and you really can't tell. Actually, in a way, you can tell. But they're not standing straight up. See how their feet are in different positions? This this Sonic is actually a tad taller than this gold Sonic. So that's something to see. And this is probably the my longest toy review ever. But, like I said, they have metal inside. They can bend their arms and legs. And you probably want to buy them individually. But I think you can only get the Super Sonic in the box set. But still, you do save money if you don't buy them individually. But they're not as detailed. I mean, there's a definite difference between the Amy's. You don't want to think the same is fake, but you know that's not true because this one came in the box set. But anyway, um, thanks for watching my, to my toy review. Bye.